So here we are in this fantastic build that we're having. People moved to Asheville for the views. So we spend a lot of time in our videos talking about site conditions and what you can expect or not expect as you're looking for land and as you're building. So we really wanted to highlight this build. Fantastic views you can see behind us, but the things we've done just prior to even starting the build of the house, the actual wood construction. So I hope you enjoy this video. This one's unique. Obviously these views are found within Asheville, but there's a lot of things here we've never done before. So not every house has got as many challenges as this one does, but not a lot of them have as important of a view as this one is. So I hope you enjoy the video. Let us know if you got any comments, questions. I always enjoy um, commentary you guys leave us. So on the upper side of this lot, we had to address the water drainage from the house above. Also, we had a lot of rock in the wall itself and it's a steep slope. So we have this existing rock outcrop and it's beautiful as it is. So what we decided to do, um, there was so much more rock there that putting a traditional retaining wall would be impossible to do with just blasting rock out. So we came in here with a soil nailed wall. And so they come in here and start actually drilling into the existing rock and creating this wall. Beautiful thing that we could do also with this is is create drainage coming around both sides of that. So you can see here where we've got drainage that would go down the driveway and then going out the other side going toward the rock. So this helps keep all this water away from the garage and from the house itself. Going on to the next kind of phases of this, you can see here all these drains that we've already put. So these are yard drainage boxes. So even before we started building the house here, we've ended up putting these in site. So we got these in place before we even start building. And these are strategically placed here where we'd have water coming to each one of these to be drained out around the foundation around to the side we did complete waterproofing we've sprayed the wall and then we put a drainage mat in with that backfill of gravel that allows water to just percolate all the way down into our french drains to go back around the house so you can see these exposed currently on the other side of our house along with all this we've done more we've ended up putting all our gutter lines and install them in around the house at this stage. The ability to get any equipment around on this site once we had the garage and house frame was going to be impossible. So we needed to already strategically know where all the gutter lines were going, put in our pipes for that so we connect to that. Lastly, right beside of all this, you see all of the conduit and this is for our power and then a lot of the other utilities we have coming into the house. So we had to go ahead and run all of those to the street, which was some of them were over 500 feet of just putting all that in and then run the conduit so when we got time for that we could put that in so you can see here with this lower retaining wall we had to tie it into the to the house foundation we're not completely finished here we'll finish this out with concrete and make it look a smooth transition each one of these pillars that you're seeing down here were probably five stages of prepping engineering to make sure our footers were on good soils We've got into a couple of these that were taking about six feet depth before we actually got compaction that we could do so you can see they're good healthy um, beefy uh, footers because this house has over a thousand square feet of deck and it really is all about this view so it should have a lot of deck so i hope you found this video to be super helpful about building in the mountains of western north carolina and around the Asheville area if you enjoyed the video subscribe to us make some comments we appreciate all the love that you're showing us and we're continuing to release more of these videos to give you a behind the scenes of the builds of our company red tree builders